Okay, guys, there's a lot of debate about how to properly time the cams on a R32. This is a 2004 um, with the VR, the two point, the 3.2 liter. So a lot of people are not understanding how to correlate the cams uh, in proper timing. <clears throat> a lot of times you in order to do this job you have to take off the transmission you have to link um, you have to link up the chain in the correct position also there is some arrows here that line up with the back that has to be adjusted but here's the problem it has variable valve timing and you have to adjust the cam counterclockwise but this piece here has to go clockwise so you have to max this out clockwise on both cams and the actual placement of the cams have to be counterclockwise. Here's the mistake that a lot of people make. Uh, let me get a, where's my wrench? One second. Sometimes when you tighten this bolt here, uh, you have to hold the cam in place, but what a lot of people do is when they're tightening the bolt, they're holding it in place, but they're moving the variable valve like this. See how it's going counterclockwise? And what that does is it causes the timing to be off because the, the cam uh, variable valve timing has to be all the way clockwise like that. So it has to go towards the firewall until it maxes out. A lot of people when they're tightening the bolt they're prying on this to hold and they're and they're turning the timing counterclockwise as you can see it's moving if you start the car like that the oil pressure will feel that and lock it in place so it's going to be off time so you got to make sure that you take once everything is timed you got to take the cams and you got to push them all the way towards the firewall to it maxes out on both of them and that's going to start your timing uh, the outer part the correlation for your cam centers are going to be timed properly so i know it's a little confusing but um, make sure that the cams once you have everything on perfect timing all the all the marks are lined up and make sure your cams are rotated clockwise to the towards the firewall to make sure that the correlation for your timing is correct this is what the book says this is what the book says to do I have all the books here and I also have the information on the computer so it's telling me exactly what to do uh, how to adjust it here's some of the wording you can pause the video um, but yeah, you got to make sure that that wheel here is clockwise all the way. And the way you achieve that is once everything is timed, you can rotate the cam clockwise until it maxes out. I hope this helps.